did you start developing the wheat varieties? I started that in 1912 from three heads of black hog picked out of a field of turkey wheat. And that turkey wheat came from Russia in 1906. I was uh, helping the hard man shock wheat, and my dad had run the binder and having trouble with it. When he come around, I showed him the wheat, and he said, oh, that's just smut. I already looked at it. I knew it had good big plum grade, and a lot better than the turkey wheat. How many varieties have you grown, and how have you developed them into the varieties that are being used now? Oh, I've uh, <clears throat> introduced about 20 different varieties since that. The Midwest, uh, would you say, is using these varieties? Well, practically all the Midwest has grown our varieties at different times, and the biggest amount was at least 75% of black hole for a while. And then in uh, Missouri, I have a letter from uh, Columbia University that uh, after the total acreage of Missouri was carcan wheat, that was a soft beardless wheat, they decided to certify it after the state of Kansas had already certified it. And it increased to 70 percent after that. I developed some of them by picking individual plants, some individual heads, some individual grains. Start from there. And uh, I believe that the Lord does the crossing and then it grows in the uh, other wheat and purifies itself and then I pick the super plants and I put them in the nursery and when I get an extra good one then I grow it all on the farm and uh, develop it from there and introduce it for seed.